you up yet? No. Still sleeping. Cal, get up. Get up. Taking a fucking key away. Who is that chick? What chick? The chick who just left. You know, for a gay guy, you sure get a lot of pussy. Oh man, we were just drinking at the bar, then we came back here to finish. Nothing happened. Yeah, I'm sure this whole gay thing is a ploy just to get chicks in the sack. Yeah, and I proved that the dad got into y'all pants, didn't I? Hey, <laughs> I was drunk and just experimenting. You liked it. Yeah, I liked the fact that you threw your hands behind your head while I got locked up. And what kind of straight guy brags about getting head from a gay guy? It anyway? only happened once. And I'm comfortable enough in my heterosexuality to talk about it. You are securely a whack job. Five points for the big words, though. Fuck you. Get dressed and get out here. Marco's here. Oh, man, we're not going on a run this early. Just get out here. What the hell took you so long? Are you living college memories? <laughs> hey, who was that chick that just left? I don't know, some chick I picked up at a bar. Damn. From gay guy, sure gets a lot of pussy. That's what I said. <laughs> I can hear you. <laughs> What's up, Marco? Have a seat. Those things are gonna kill you. He's got me before anything else does, I'll consider it a good life. <laughs> You're an idiot. Fine. Look. You're running for Gina Marchetti. What? Since when did we start doing business with Gina Marchetti? Since now. We've got enough of a good reputation that he's finally willing to work with us. You want to pick up at noon? No. What? I'm not going, no! You have to go. I don't have to do anything. Look, we were only supposed to do this through, through hard times till we made enough money. We've made enough at this point. Oh yeah, you can hardly tell by the shithole you live in. Yeah. Fuck you, I'm saving my money to go back to school and you got a kid on the way. Once we get involved with Gino, there's no going back. Hey, Gino Marchetti knows that this is only temporary. We can't say no. And do you think it's going to be any easier to say no six months from now or a year from now? Look, Kyle, we're going to make a lot of money off of this. Double what we made in the last three years. We'll be set for a long time. Now we're all in agreement that it's only a temporary deal with Gino until we made enough. Then we're out. Come on, man. Do it for me. Fine. Which one of you is coming with me? I said, which one of you is coming with me? I have to take Esme to our doctor's appointment. Ultrasound. I gotta take care of some business. You're on your own on this one. You'll be fine. You've done this a hundred times. Yeah, but I've always had one of you guys there with me. Look, you'll meet him in the lot outside the warehouse. I mean, Gino's gonna be there with his driver. I mean, just make the exchange quick and easy. You don't need us all there for that. Good thing you're using the crush card. What? What? Do it for me, Kyle. Dude, you were pretty much batting your eyelashes at him. Hey, he and I have been friends since grade school. What the hell are you talking about? Oh, please. I know that, and I'm sure he knows that, but that doesn't mean that he doesn't wish for a little more. I mean, you lead him on. You're an idiot. Hey, j just use whatever works, dude. He's right, you know. We can't keep doing this. I got a kid on the way. You sound just like your fucking boyfriend. Dude, we're gonna make all this cash. I want a better life for my kid. And I want a better life for me. With all the money we're gonna make with Gino, we'll both be set. Look. Cacao loose. You know I can handle this on my own. Hey. We walked into this all together, and we're walking out all together. I'm gonna make sure he's all set. You can let yourself out. Call me when the deal's done. You okay? 
Does it matter? Come on. Look, man. I don't want to do this. I don't want to be involved with Gino Marchetti and this bullshit. It's fucking dangerous. You can't see that, and, and Marco's too fucking blind to see it. He's too money hungry to see it. Dude, he's changed. He is not the same guy that we started doing this with. I don't trust him anymore. You can trust Marco. He's never done us wrong. Yet. Look, man, I think we're just all a bit edgy. We've been working our asses off, and I think it's starting to get to us. We'll do this for Gino a couple times, then we're done. Oh, you can go back to school, I can raise my kid, and Marco can, well, do whatever the hell Marco does. See, we don't even know what he does anymore, where he goes. The man is entitled to a life. What if we kick it out? What if Gino doesn't let us out? There's always a way out. I hope you're right. Finish getting ready. I'll call Esme until I can't make it. Nah, nah. Don't worry about it. I got this. It's more important for you to be with her than it is to deal with this shit. Are you sure? Yeah. Thanks, man. Call me as soon as it's done. You do almost bite your eyelashes, you know. What? Sound travels? I hate you guys. Everything you said. You know I don't have a crush on you, right? I know that. Do you? You're acting stupid. Of course I know that. I got a jet. Be careful. Which one of the three wise men are you? I. Poppy Trunk. Toadie. You know, I'm taking a big chance on newbies like you, but you've managed to get a good reputation so far. I'd be stupid not to try to settle something with you. Just don't fuck with me. All set, boss. So, the little birdie tells me that you're the queer one of the bunch. <laughs> Excuse me? Isn't that true? Personally, I would never have a fag in my group, but. Like I said, you guys have a good rep so far. Word to the wise. Don't try anything with me. Because I'll shove your head up your ass. Or would you like that too much? Fuck you. <laughs> what did you say? Fuck you. You're balls talking to me like that. You show up to do this deal alone with too much attitude and too little respect. Let me remind you that I run things around here. Do you think you got this far by accident? I've known about two, three amigos for a long time. I've been watching you closely. I know where you live. I know where you hide. <laughs> I know where you drink too much. If you play the game, you can go pretty far. I can stop you at any time. I need to show you some manners, you son of a bitch. Oh! 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 Teach this faggot some respect. Oh! <laughs> and send a message to his two boyfriends. I got there and, and 
They started busting my ass about being gay and shit. I don't even fucking know how they knew that. Next thing I know, the big guy was beating on me. And I must have blacked out because he was on the ground. And when I looked over, Gino was getting out of the car. And I saw him reach into his pocket. So I grabbed the gun and I shot him. I shot him. I shot Gino Machetti. What are we going to do? We? No, bro. This is on you. I'm not going to sit around here while they come and take you out. I'm done. You're not going anywhere. You think they're just gonna come after Kyle? They're coming after all of us. I'm sure the word is out that Gino was working with us and we'll all be held accountable for his death when they find out. Whether you like it or not, we're in this shit together. Marco, run home and grab some stuff. Get some guns, get some clothes. Kyle. Go to your room and pack. We'll leave in town for a bit. We'll head up to my uncle's cabin until we have a plan. I'm gonna call Lesmi and tell her to head to her aunt's. It's not gonna work. They'll find us. And you standing around here doing your best, Bill Paxton from Aliens Impersonation is helping? I'm game to hear a better idea. Didn't think so. You've got 20 minutes. Go. Go! Lewis, I'm sorry. I, I don't know what happened. It all just fucking happened so fast. I've been telling you since we were kids that that temper of yours was going to get you in trouble. Damn you, Kyle! What are we going to do? How are we going to get out of this? I don't know. I don't know, that's why we need to go away until we think this through. Go pack your shit. I gotta call Esme. Hi, baby. How are you? Look, um, the guys and I are heading up to uh, Uncle Junior's cabin for a few days. Last minute thing. Why don't you head over to the aunt's for a bit? Take a break, get some rest. When we're done at the cabin, I'll meet you there. No, no, no. Nothing's wrong. I promise. Okay? I love you too. been up in a long time. Remember when we used to come up here when we was kids, Lewis? Fucking good time. Yeah, good time for reminiscing. Fuck you. Lewis, what the fuck? Marco, the... get in the truck. Lewis, what the... So go away in the fucking truck! Lewis, come on, man. This isn't Stop, funny. don't fucking move. Lewis, come on, man. I saw her today, Kyle. The ultrasound, her little hands, her feet, her head. Lewis. I'm going to have a little girl. We're going to call her Daniela. Lois. Come on. I love you like your family, Kyle. Always have. But I have a new family I need to worry about now. This isn't funny. If they don't find us, they'll come after our families. Esme. I can't let that happen. I can tell him it was you. What? You, you went rogue and I took care of it. Dude, come They'll on. leave us alone if you're not around. I'm sorry, Kyle, but there's no other way. Let's come on. Let's... Shut up! Just shut the fuck up! You and your fucking temper. How many times am I supposed to put my neck up for you? Louis, huh? Louis, I'm sorry. How many? I'm sorry. Oh, I can't. And I won't put my baby girl in danger because of you. I love you, brother. You always said there was a way out. There is.